Hey Luke, how you doing? Hello, how's it going? Yeah, it's good. Uh, and uh, not often we get to see something brand new at uh, at Synthfest. I no, mean, but I mean, I guess this isn't announced at Synthfest, but it's the first time we've seen the. It's, it's the first UK showing of the Drumlog. It is. Yeah. Yes. Sweet. So here it is in all its glory. It's a little bigger than I thought it was going to be for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, it's quite. It's really nicely built actually. When you get your hands on it. Um, all the pots feel really nice. They're kind of similar pots you'd find on the like the mini log and stuff. Uh, that sort of similar feel, which is really nice. Um, got control over all the different parts, the analog parts. Obviously, it's a hybrid drum machine, so um, you've got your analog parts, and then you've got digital parts, and you've also got the ability to sample into it. So, does it actually sample internally? It doesn't have a. You can't record samples into it, but you can drag and drop samples from your computer. Um, via USB, really easy. It literally will just show you the folder, and then you can just drag your samples in. And how, much, how much space is there for uh, that? Thirty-two meg. Okay, for yeah. so for one hit. Well, for one hit, that's a fair bit. Yeah. Is that mono good. or stereo? That is stereo. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of like old school S one thousand, S five thousand sort of type memory. So you could put a little stereo vocal flies in, I suppose, and stuff. Yeah, like that. you can bring in anything you want. You're just limited to that amount, basically. So, yeah, and then you've also got, of course, the the Minilog style SDK yeah. data you can bring in as well. So kind of um, developers will uh, develop software for well, this you've too. Got, you've got some sign vibes in there already, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, sign vibes have got this brilliant oscillator in there called Nano, um, which you can Well, let, play as a pattern first. Yeah, let's, let's, have, a let's have a listen. Here we go. So this is one of the presets. So to select your presets, you just you have it there on the screen, and then you can just change it and then press select. Is that, is that changing preset mid bar or does it change on the boundary? You can, can, you you can, it's changing it at the moment um, when, I pr when I select it basically. Right. But if I want to, I can set it so it will you know, do it on the bar. So you've got lots of really contemporary presets in here. That's pretty hardcore, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm developing a nosebleed. <laughs> <laughs> There's a real sense, uh, in the headphones here, I'm hearing that there's a real stereo and sense of space around it as there's well. There's some fantastic reverb effects in here as well. Um, it's got similar reverbs, again, derived from the Minilog series, so you've got those amazing kind of spatial reverbs if you want them. And I really, I know you really dig yeah, those. Is so. that on send or on uh, insert? That's on send, I think. Uh, it's on send, yeah. Right, yeah. Oh, handy. Which nice. is nice, so you can do, you can drown something in reverb but not something else or whatever, however you want to work. Put so. a snare splash or whatever, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let's... So. So it's it's kind of in in its DNA. It's a little bit similar to Volkers as well. So in that you've got obviously your live mode, where you can just select the your Volker part. Deluxe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> the XL or something. Yeah. So you can select your part, um, and then and then see it's changing the part here. And ah, then, so you get an additional. Dis oh, right. Okay. Yeah. And then you can basically um, then in live mode play those individual parts if you want to. But if you want to do your stepping, you just go into step, and then so there's, that's there's the classic TR style. Exactly, yeah. Has it got any of the kind of nifty chops from the SQ64? Because there's some really nice like looping. Uh, yeah, it's got uh, it's got step. looping. It's got uh, ratcheting. It's got uh, kind of all those sort of things you'd expect to find from a modern drum machine, really. Which are, and swing, obviously, swing can be global or it can be per part as well, which is really nice. Yeah. Um, so um, we've got what? Uh, what's that? Four analog voices. Yeah. And then you sample. So samples here. Digi this is the dig that's the analog part for here. Then these are um, I have to put it into live mode. You can hear them then. So you got these are your digital sounds. So the hats are digital. And then you've got your sa two sample parts. But any of these can be any sampled sound. So they don't ah. have to be those sounds. They can be anything. And then you've got your multi-engine segment where you can it can be like a VPM style digital oscillator. Or it can be a noise, so you just press part and then you can, you can change. Or it can be the user, and that's the one you were saying with sign vibes included there. Since. Oh, that's built in. Yeah, right? yeah. So if you um, press, put you on the spot now. Have you, have, yeah. lot, have you had a lot of time with this? I haven't <laughs> had loads of time because I've not actually been involved in the development of this particular one. So uh, this is fairly, fairly new to me. Um, well, let's, so move, let's move on, because right? there are loads of demos where you can hear There are, yeah. Stuff. There's some really great demos out there, actually, of uh, some of the YouTubers really going in-depth into every feature. 
Yeah, and so um, the pads, they're not velocity sensitive, are they? But no, it, they're not. But it responds to velocity over MIDI, presumably? Yes, absolutely. Obviously, you've got MIDI. You've got great connect connectivity, actually, as well as MIDI. You've got two USB ports. So you've got, you've got your regular to host to your computer for the drag and drop in the samples oh. and stuff. But you've also got a device so, so such as this, yeah. So you can plug in controllers, uh, MIDI controller, and it'll power those as well. Is that fixed assignments, or can you um, can you just map it up to how? At the moment, it's fixed, but I believe it. Yeah, it, it's going to be user definable. The, the other cool thing with the um, external outputs is that you haven't just got the two; you've got four extra ones as well. Yeah, well, essential. You want the kick at least out to the PA yeah. if you're going to use this before. Uh, audio input as well, which is nice. And obviously the sync protocol, which syncs to basically all of our analog gear. For the kind of like sort of 808 style little level knobs at the top, which yeah, is kind which of is nice. Yeah, so that's just your basic mixer. And it's a really nice finish. It's like a brushed sort of black, really solid finish to it. I can't see any fingerprints on it yet, so maybe it's not a magnet. Not too bad, actually. Or have you got a special person who's, who, who <laughs> has to polish all the surfaces? That's, that's my main job now at Korg, yeah. <laughs> I think it's a growth market. Yeah, you yeah, can start definitely. an agency. Yeah, I should do, yeah. <laughs> so this is, how, how stock? Have we got it in the country? I mean, it's not in the country yet. yet. We've got some samples. This is one of them. Uh, we're just waiting now. We, we haven't got firm um, availability dates yet, so we're just waiting to hear. So we're hoping it's going to be this year. But we can't guarantee it at the moment. Right, and it, this is um, was it? Is it six hundred quid, something like it's that? It's actually going to uh, our recommended retail, which we're suggesting is going to be five two nine. Okay, so a little so, less than that, right? Okay. So it's, yeah, decent price, really. It's good. Yeah, nice one. Thank you very much, Luke. Perhaps okay. if you press play, we can just hear another pattern. Let's do it for the credits. I'll put a different one on for you. Here we go.